So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, you you missed, uh, I guess, the end of seasons. You missed the the choir's final anthem and, uh, and and performance of the season. They were joyous and uh, it was it was fantastic. You missed you missed the end of the season with Janine, who goes on a break now. But Janine and the kids lit the Christ candle before heading off to celebrate and have a party. And they talked about the drama and the stories that they have shared and the engagement that they have felt themselves but been able to share with us as well. And that was wonderful. And then we decided to, to tackle a, lug, a lovely bit of gospel. Um, it's the story where... where, where the man comes to Jesus and says, listen, I was uh, kind of hoping um, that I could follow you, but before that I need to go and bury my father. And Jesus says, yeah, let the dead bury their own dead. And another comes and says, I'm ready to follow you. I just want to go back to my home and say goodbye to everybody. And Jesus says, well, no. No, in fact, he, he mentions that, as farmers all know, that when you're plowing a field, you need to look forward, not back. Nobody looks back when plowing a field. If they do, they're not fit for the kingdom of God. So we spent a little time today talking about what Jesus could possibly have meant when he said those things. How somehow those seemingly harsh words from Jesus can be recognized as good news. And we realized as we listened to those stories and sort of took umbrage at them that perhaps Jesus is reminding us that the kingdom of God and faith, in fact, are not actually about us. Faith is not sentimental. It's not about restoring things the way they used to be. It's not about making us comfortable. In fact, the kingdom of God is justice and peace for everyone, not just for us personally. And in that, we also recognize that, that following Jesus is not easy. So if you thought that following Jesus would be great, you'd get together with people who think like you, look like you, and sing all those same old lovely hymns from long ago, you're mistaken. Those sentimental favorites may come by from time to time, but they are not the agenda because it's not about you. It's not about me. And in fact... It's hard to follow Jesus. It's uncomfortable to follow Jesus. To follow Jesus, we have to open our hearts and our minds to ideas and people that we would very gladly pretend didn't exist at all. But that's not the way Jesus does things. And if we want to follow Jesus, we have to learn that. So, we kind of struggled with spa Jesus today. And oh, the Jesus who makes us feel good about ourselves. And we wondered what the kingdom of God really looked like. And we talked a bit about who it's about and how it's about. And we also recognize that the kingdom of God, that real faith is about today, not, not yesterday. It's about what's happening right now. And it's the invitation for us to be part of shaping what happens next. So that's what we did today at Jubilee. We wondered about the kingdom of God and about faith. And I suggested, I have no idea whether people agreed, but I suggested that it's important to understand that the kingdom of God is not about any one of us. It's not sentimental. It's not meant for our comfort. It's uncomfortable. It's costly. And it is about now and tomorrow. It has nothing to do with yesterday. So that's what you missed. But hopefully, well, we're not worrying about the past. So I'm not going to worry about today. But hopefully we'll get to see you soon because, because we miss you. So thanks for listening. God bless.